Hello everyone, welcome to our video tutorial about table of contents. To follow this tutorial, you need to have a document like the one you are seeing on the screen. Then you have to be with headings on that document and make sure these headings are done with the help of the styles group, especially heading one. So now let us look at how we can insert the table of content in the document but however it is important to know that where your cursor is blinking from for instance you see where mine is if we decide to insert it then it will go there. So to do that let's first press the cursor at the beginning of this paragraph then we press the enter and then we can insert our cursor there. So that our table of content appears above this is our document. So after doing so, we go to references, you click. After clicking, we shall go to table of contents group, but we shall use this option for table of content. So we click once. There are a number of options as we can see, but we shall select this first option of contents so we click once when we click once the table of content is now inserted above our document so this is what we call an automatic table of content that is generated by the program now you'll realize that this table of content has three uh, overviews and these these are psalms 23 then the lord and prayer those are the headings that you selected in your document or they are the text you selected to appear on the table of content if you realize also you see that on our right this way we have got these are page numbers they show us where these headings are found within our document so Immediately the table of content is inserted, the page numbers are also displayed to direct you to the page where the text is found. So now we would like to see what would happen to this table of content if we pushed some of this text to the next page. And to do that we shall click at the end of this paragraph. You see where the cursor is. To, to push this text to the next page, we go to page layout, we click on it, then we select page break, and now we shall select this first option for page by clicking. So when we click, we scroll down, click hold and move. Now these text are on another page, and that can be seen from this point of page 2 of 2, indicating we have got now two pages in our document. So now we would like to see what has happened to our table of content. If at all those page numbers have automatically changed. Let's move up. I will use the scroll button. I will click, hold and move to the first page. Now if we see on our table of content, the numbers have not yet changed. So this means that we need to update this table of content. To do so, we click within our table of content. So when you click, there is this option that appears on this table of content area and it is telling us to update. So when we click on update, it means our page numbers have to automatically change as per the changes we made or else Sometimes you can use this option for references and still you can update the table of content. So it is upon you to choose the option. Now let's click on update table of content. So when you click on update table of content, we have this dialog box which is showing us we can either update page numbers only or we can update the entire table. For this case, we need the entire table. So we select the second option by clicking on that radio button. 
after clicking we click ok so when we click ok our page numbers have now changed it is saying the first head headline Psalm 23 is on page 1 then the Lord and prayer headings they are on page 2 and sometimes you may have some subtopics within your document and you want these subtopics to appear in your table of content the question is how would you do it so this is what we would do for instance we shall use this heading of Psalm 23 we click there then we are going to create a paragraph below it by pressing the enter key so when you press the enter key we shall add here a sub topic or a verse under Psalms 23 and we call it verse 1 so we type verse one after typing verse one this the verse one reads the lord is my shepherd i shall not want so we want this one he makes me lie down in the green pastures to be verse two so we move our pointer at the beginning of he then we press enter to break it as another paragraph after breaking it we can still move it again down here so we can press enter again on our keyboard then above here we click and we put verse 2 we press we type verse 2 so after typing verse 2 we, we now would like to see verse 1 and verse 2 appearing in our table of content there are far verse 1 and verse 2 has to change to headings and to do that we shall go to the home tab we click then we shall use the styles group but before we change them to headings we have to select for instance we select verse 1 then we make it heading 2 we also go to verse 2 we select and we make it heading 2 why are we making them heading 2 not 1? The reason is these verses they are under Psalms 23. So they are just small verses below chapter 23. That's why we make them heading style 2. Now we would like to see what will happen to our table of content if we update it. To do so this time we shall not click inside the table of content but let us use the reference tab so we click on reference tab then we shall select this option for update table we click so when we click on update table the update table of content dialog box is displayed we shall say we want to update the entire table so we select that button and then click on okay so when we click on okay you see our verse 1 and verse 2 have been displayed but they are showing you that they are just below psalm 23 and this means that they are on a lower level and this is an indication that these verses they fall under this chapter of psalm 23 so that's it for now. See you in our next tutorial.